Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Beorning, and we have found the backpack, so let's pick it up and return it to... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, tracks all over the place. Hmm. Says he dropped a sack here, we nabbed him. Should be around here. Oh, more Uruks apparently. <laughs> Ah, good grief. Uh, double teaming. Oh, actually, if they're double teaming me, just do this. Might help, though, if I use the right skill when I do that. Alright, well. I die for the Ninkoth! Yeah, right. Ninkoth. There you go. Alright, fine. Okay, let's see where these Ninkoth are. And find out what they're up to, and... Apparently... They must have the dwarf, based on what they said. There's a building up ahead, I see, so maybe that building is where the Ninkoth are. We will have to check that out first. Nice being level 65 and the wargs and such to completely ignore me as I pass them by. So I won't have to worry about them. Yay! Alright, let's head up into the ruins. Tark Stog Oh, whatever. Oh, hello there. Have you seen some Uruks around here anywhere? You pursue the Uruks. Your trail ends here, I am afraid. Hail to you! You are in pursuit of the Uruks? Your trail ends here, I am afraid. The ruins of Minas Elendur that you see atop the cliffs here are crawling with the creatures, and with worse besides. Still you intend to scour the ruins? Uh, you are brave, my friend. If I cannot dissuade you, I at least will tell you that I have learned the place. I will not myself journey in there again, not for any sum. There are strange doings going on inside Minas Elendur and its cursed cellars, and I have seen enough to last me. All right, and I get, and you get some nice potential titles here for your weapon. Oh, let's take. Oh, we get that now. All right. Westernese plus Orc Slayer Tier 3. That's not too bad. Well, this was the site of a terrible battle long ago. All right, well, currently I do common damage. The Elves of Gwingriz would not tell me uh, such much of these runes, but they told me enough to whet my curiosity that this was the site of a battle long ago and none of the people who lived here were spared the sword. But the goal of the enemy was not treasure, for the coffers were left untouched. Untouched. But there is something strange about the rooms and quarters of Minas Elendur and the cellars of Delotham which run beneath it. You see, sometimes, disturbing things. It is as if the horrors that fell upon this place scarred in it some way, some way that the stones have not forgotten. I will be a brave... You'll take a brave man indeed to explore the place from top to bottom. Some of the ruins of Minas and Lindor can only be reached by stairs within Delotham, and the opposite seems to also be so. I do not know why the Ninkoth orcs have come to this place, but I feel it must be as bewildering to them as it is to me. Wherever they are keeping this dwarf for whom you are looking, it will not be easy to find. Alright, so we need to find Funi Gem Cutter inside of this place. Now there is a deed for finding every single room, room all around here. We get you the title of the thorough if you do complete it, and here's some blood. Now, this floor is stained with blood. Will it lead to Funi Gem Cutter? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, there's some more blood, 
And here's a Ninkoth. And we'll be running into a few of these here and there. I'm afraid. It'll be all over the place. Alright, here we go. Yes. Now, of course, I know where we will find Foony. He's not all that far away. But the problem is, once we find him, we're going to have to get some searching. All right, there we go. That's two down. And more to go. Yeah. They just like throwing marks on you. So we just have to keep them from doing so. Now the problem is, finding Berserkers... This seems to be the only place where Berserkers are plentiful because I always have trouble finding them when I need them for the quest. Oh, you find tons of them getting too phony. Well, once you get there, they're as rare as diamonds. Or at least it seems to me. All right, here we go. And here is Funi. By Durin, a friendly face. I had all but given up hope of rescue. And here you appear from nowhere. Hurry, there is not much time. These Uruks are as miserable a creature as any I have seen. It seems they have come north on the heels of another breed, but these have designs of setting down in these lands. What an idea! Better up here than down near Zigujabo, my home in the White Mountains, but still too close for comfort. We have had troubles here enough. The Nienkoth Uruks kept me alive for a purpose, my friend. They've been bringing gold and trinkets to me for throughout the cellars of this place with the idea that I could somehow fashion them into items of worth. Oh, which, of course I can, but I would never do that for these creatures. I cannot bear the thought of these treasures being left here for the Nienkoth. Explore these ruins, gather up the treasures, and bring it back to me. I would not mind a bit if you took out some time to slay the Uruks either. Oh, oh you may want to take a map. Make a map. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have... So I need to kill eight Berserkers and six Despoilers. And I think there are... I didn't run into more b Despoilers than Berserkers, except when I'm starting out, as you remember. We're at the beginning on there. Maybe it's upstairs and downstairs or something like that. But anyway. I'm going to concentrate on finding the coffers at the moment. And once I find the coffers, then I could worry about any remaining Uruks I need to find, assuming that I haven't found all the ones I need. Alright, let's go downstairs. So I tend to find coffers downstairs. And the trick here is remembering where they're at. As I said, I'm beginning to think it might be an upstairs, downstairs thing. So I tend to find spoilers are plenty down here. Yeah! A fearsome Ninkoth! And our first. Our first, hopefully, of many. Of these. And you also see there that sort of invisible. Well, okay, not invisible, but images. And of course, that's what the fearful adventurer was seeing before. Okay, that's one of those. Now, did I see somebody moving around here? Yes, I did. Hello! Care for battle? Just keep those marks off. He also has a little bit of a... Corruption, but... When you're Bjorning, you don't have to worry too much about corruptions. Especially the type that they have, where you have these... Many small corruptions. Because many small corruptions are... Very easy to deal with. 
Actually, I don't think I really have to kill them all. They're all... It looks like they only threaten you, but... I started the battle too early. Before I was sure of that. Okay, so now let's go through here. The problem is I don't remember where... All... I remember where that coffer is, but where the other coffers are... Uh, I'm sorry. Moria escape piece. So somehow these things were originally from Moria and got away. Which is, looks like they grew when they grew out, got out of Moria because most of the insects I find there, at least of that type, tend to be smaller. And fortunately, the lizards are willing to leave you alone also. And go here. See, uh, we're already here at we're at one berserker and all of the despoilers we have. So that's why I was talking about how you get through your what. Your despoiler so much more easily, and that I think the berserkers tend to be rare, despite the fact that at the, at the start, before we were counting them, we are getting them in plenty. All right, there we go. And let's see. Hmm. I'm just trying to map out this entire area, get all the corridors down, because I think. I don't know if I run to another one when I'm down here before I have to go back up. It's possible this room might have something. I guess, yeah, this one does, but I will have to fight this Moria escape first. And he won't escape, that's for sure. Okay, done. More treasure. Okay, that's two down. This is the first time I've really tried it this way. Usually I've been going up much earlier than... Oh, I found a berserker! Yay! So I don't understand if you're having so much... If I had so much trouble finding berserkers, why I have to kill more berserkers than... Than the spoilers when the berserkers are the harder ones to find. I am MMO logic. Never understand it. All right, here we go. I found the four corridor junction of. The, yeah, so we have all these tags here that tell you how many of them you have found. Uh, let's see. Deed bestowed. So yeah, four of twenty-three. So you need all twenty-three in order to get the thorough. And more despoilers. I am going to do the despoiler size three times over before I finish the berserker. Fortunately, as I said, if I run short on berserkers, I know that I can go upstairs when I get back to the dwarf. And I am going to be thorough about looking around down this downstairs area, which, as I said, I don't think I've ever really done it this way before. And hopefully I'm not going to demonstrate why I've never done it this way before. Okay, so we're in the salamander area now. And if I remember correctly, the salamanders do attack. Rumming stock. So you can imagine, because Rumming is a guy that... I can't remember if I did the quest here or not. I th I th that's right, I think we skipped most of Evendim. But Rumming is someone you meet in Evendim who is breeding salamanders. 
And it looks like that some of the stock somehow got here. I have no clue as to how they managed to do that, considering how far we are from me and them, but that's the way things go. All right, now and here we are at the rubble-filled room in Delthime. Hmm. Oh, a berserker. Ah. And tangled fingers. Not a good combination. Alright. But at least it's another berserker. Yay! Alright, so now let's see any more coffers in here before I leave. Nope. Okay, so back down this way. Good. Just wondering, is it possible to get all four of them? Down here? Without having to go up and down, up and down? Is that voice going up and down, up and down, up and down? This is the first time I've actually gotten... Got this mini all together. Alright, okay. Oh, well, we'll see. Of course, where I come out at the end after getting them all is going to be another matter. Probably in the middle of nowhere. I think rumming stock here has a little extra fire in their breath. And, uh, yeah, I have found the illuminated room in Delph. And I also found my fourth chest. Good. Now I can get out of here. Okay, I'm down this way. I'm way down away from where I was at the start. So I am just going to have to find my way because I don't feel like running all the way through because I'm sure I'm going to run into quite a number of rooks on my way out. Good. And I should hit into a door soon. Ah, yeah, here's one right here. Good. Now, let's see if we can find that dwarf. All right, we are in the middle of nowhere, as I expect. And completely unable to interrupt also. All right, now let's see where we are. All right, we want to go up into this area. So we are here, so we need to make a left turn as soon as possible. Or not be too bad. I think this is an easier route when you want to not explore the entire area. Now, of course, I am still going to need to kill a few more berserkers. But first, I want to get back to the courtyard. Then I could worry about that. Hmm. Well, I of course have to find a route to where I'm going. That doesn't involve me going through every... Alright, the spoiler! More of them. This is going to take me some time. Let's see what happens. All right, let's head out. Found the southeast isle of Minas Elensdur. See, more despoilers. This is inc... Well, actually, it's not incredible because I've gone through this enough times where... Where it's more typical than incredible. All right. Actually, this might be getting close to... Yeah! Looky here. Alright, and I, this is where the berserkers are all at. Well, next time I'll kill a couple of berserkers, and then we'll speak to...
to the dwarf. Actually, I'll kill the berserkers between episodes and meet you back at the dwarf in the next episode of Piney Plays The Bjorning.